I have been up to make my way through any of the articles about Donald Trump's latest indictment for mishandling classified documents. I don't know what it is, and I don't know if there's any wisdom here, but I just start to get a headache when I read these articles about Donald Trump's indictment for, for mishandling documents. It, it seems to be you know, a fight over paperwork. It seems to be a fight over trivia. It, it seems to be a prosecution for something that's not particularly important. It seems to be a fight over record keeping. I mean, really? Is this what it's come down to? Is this, you know, what the, the big deal is? That we're, we're fighting over record keeping and what exactly belongs in the National Archives? It, it just seems so minor and then the other thing that, that grabs my attention is that there are all these articles decrying how donald trump is stoking anger and fury and i i think to the extent i'm able to pay any attention at all yeah i, I do think donald trump is stoking anger and fury but what the hell was the black lives matter movement wasn't that all about stoking anger and fury and how that was righteous in fact we had to supersede, get rid of, turn our back on, forget about all the COVID restrictions once uh, George Floyd died because the anger and fury of the Black Lives Matter movement, that outweighed every other moral consideration. That outweighed all COVID restrictions, which until then, and then for the two years after then, COVID restrictions were the preeminent moral issue of our time. Tell me that I'm wrong. 40, you're wrong. So... If it's wonderful for Black Lives Matter to be, you know, filling people with fury and anger, motivating people to go out and commit massive numbers of crimes. Yeah, I know 90% of Black Lives Matter rallies were mostly peaceful, but we've had an absolute explosion of murder, of crime, a deterioration in the quality of life. Uh, millions of people have been frightened. Millions of people have pulled their heads in. Millions of people are less likely to volunteer to do anything in the wider society. People are much more likely in big cities and around big cities to stay home, right, watch TV and not get involved in, in the, the wider community. People are more incentivized to work from home. The, the Black Lives Matter crime spree that it unleashed, along with a huge increase in traffic deaths and pedestrian deaths, Right. This is all based on the notion that it was righteous to be filled with anger and, and fury. So hasn't this been the, the rallying call for, for left-wing protests, including for civil rights, that anger and fury are good? Right? What uh, Martin Luther King unleashed, wasn't that uh, you know, good? Yeah, it led to an absolute explosion in murder rates and crime rates. But um, is, isn't that a, a, a good thing? So no justice, no peace. Uh, Remind me. Tell me I'm wrong about this. No justice, no peace. Is that, is that something that comes from the left? Or is that something that comes from the right? To the extent that I'm aware of that phrase being used in, in politics, it only comes from the left. Right? The left has harnessed anger and fury to push its agenda to disrupt the lives of ordinary people, to disrupt the lives of tens of millions of ordinary people, to incentivize a massive increase in, in crime rates, a massive increase in murder rates, a massive increase in uh, rape rates and assault rates and grievous bodily harm rates and just a general sense of, of mayhem and, and fear, right? But this was always, you know, harnessed towards wholly left-wing causes. So on the other hand, it, it, it seems a very unlevel playing field. Remember the 1994 election and I think Time Magazine did their cover story on angry white men. So it's bad for white men to be angry on behalf of conservative and Republican causes. But it's righteous if they were angry on behalf of Black Lives Matter or LGBTQ protests or other you know, marginalized communities or sacred communities. Right? What woke means is that there are groups that you may not criticize. Right? You may not criticize blacks, Jews, uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, LGBTQ communities. Right? They are above and beyond criticism. They are sacred communities, and you're not allowed to criticize them. 
And if they harness and they fuel anger and rage, that's a, a good thing. Blue Cross says Trump is a narcissistic criminal. Then have a big argument either way. I, I, I just haven't been able to make myself, you know, read through any of these latest Trump indictment stories. Left is smarter and has institutional power. Yeah, I think that's true. Right wingers are impotent and stupid. Just look at the Trump rally in Miami, a cultish circle of ignorance. So the Republican Party and the American right has definitely gone down market uh, over the past uh, decade, uh, particularly. But National Review started going down market in the 1980s. National Review, the premier journal of, of conservative thought in, in America, probably since the, the 1950s, all right, used to be primarily written by professors. But starting about the 1980s, 90s, it became primarily written by pundits.